Jet streams, plural, are narrow bands of fast moving air high up in the atmosphere that generally blow west to east around the globe. Earth actually has four jet streams, two polar jet streams near the north and two subtropical jet streams closer to the equator. They're caused by the meeting of cold and warm air masses and the greater difference in temperatures, the faster those winds blow. And because the sun doesn't heat the whole earth evenly, because it's round, areas near the equator receive the sun's most direct rays and are therefore much hotter than at the poles. And this is where we have the greatest differences in temperatures. When a warmer air mass meets a colder air mass, the warm air rises up higher in the atmosphere. It's less dense, while cooler air sinks down to replace that warm air. This movement creates an air current, and a jet stream is basically an air current that forms high up in the atmosphere. So Earth's four primary jet streams generally travel west to east, and that's what also transports weather systems around the world. A very loopy or wavy jet stream can lead to that flow getting cut off and weather systems sticking around for days on end, leading to droughts and floods. On average, jet streams move around 175 kilometers per hour, but if there's a really big temp difference, they can move faster than 400 kilometers per hour. So that's why commercial airlines often travel with the jet stream to get an extra push, save on fuel and time when traveling west to east. Monitoring jet streams can help meteorologists determine where weather systems will move next. And it's also a big area of research connected to climate change. Because the Arctic is warming faster than the mid-latitude regions, there's some new research that suggests that jet stream is getting loopier and wavier and staying in place for longer. Stay tuned. And now you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me an email and I'll try to get it answered.